Our interview today is with um, Paul Wong, who is the author and the founder of the um, healing technology called Art of Neutrality. Paul uh, has been practicing healing arts for more than 15 years, and he is going to share with you today what the Art of Neutrality is all about. Paul, tell me about your experience arriving to uh, this technology which you have created, and how powerful is what you teach? Okay, thanks, Kabanich. Um, okay, how did I arrive from this is actually uh, probably from uh, the time of my high school high school years. Uh, and back then, I was always looking for ways to be to be smarter uh, academically, because I was in school and a lot of people were able to. Uh, in a few hours of study, they could just master things and, or don't study too much and they could do really well in their schoolwork. Well, I was a pretty good student, but it seems like I have to do a lot of work to, to get the same grades. And so I just started in the journey, started in, in high school, and then the same thing happened in, in college. So I continued my journey after I, uh, after I uh, got out of college and I uh, kept looking for different ways to get smarter and tap into the human potential because I always talk about how we are only uh, using 10% of our brain. Um, so, so that's really my journey is my own deep interest in personal development and until about seven years ago I actually uh, I actually uh, developed uh, chronic asthma. So I started to look for alternative ways to, to resolve my uh, chronic asthma. And then I also had some uh, key life events that happened that pointed me toward a healing path, even though a lot of the tools that I was learning before had a lot of healing um, implications and applications. So as I started using different uh, healing systems or practices like EFT, uh, UM method, uh, body talk, vortex healing, uh, Qigong, um, as I started to go down that path, I was really trying to resolve my own issues, and I would get some benefits and some incremental relief from some of the healing tools like EFT, um, and then uh, it didn't make my asthma go away. So I, I went on to study, for example, one system is called the Yuan Method uh, from Dr. Yuan, and uh, I was, uh, it, again, I was able to learn it well, and apply on other people. And I started seeing people with uh, uh, deep levels of pain go away very quickly. Uh, one person couldn't walk. Uh, and within after five minutes, I worked on him, nothing happened, but I saw him later, a few hours later, and he was able to walk around like a, like a little child, all right? And he was basically, looks like he was crippled when I first met him. So I started noticing that uh, pain uh, issues with pain can be resolved very quickly. And what this uh, tells me is there's some type of uh, uh, process for healing that uh, as we clear it, people can go into uh, instant healing oftentimes. Mm -hmm. so, so what that involves is what it's really like looking at our, the, the energetic charges in our system. The energetic charges in our system can come from our life experiences, from our ancestors, and from our from the collective. And it's like a resonance, which is an energetic charge. And as we tune into it and we feel it and we can clear it, then pain can go away. So I started started to witness that a lot from working with, you know, like uh, I guess hundreds of people in the first year. Um, so since then, I've probably worked with over, you know, 2,000 people directly, mm -hmm. probably since the last five years. Mm -hmm. And sometimes pain can go away in a session or two, but sometimes within minutes and seconds. Um, so it's, it's really been a fascinating journey to see different issues clear. Um, so it's, it not just works for pain, but it also works for uh non-physical issues, because actually the, it's really a lot of times non-physical issues that causes our pain. Mm -hmm. So fears, anxieties, uh, if you have a fear of heights, fear of, uh, you know, like a s snake, public speaking, uh, issues like that can be cleared up very, uh, very quickly. And 
people really need to think about this beyond just like a healing tool. It's like an energetics tool, energetics practice, where it's it can be used to improve people, the quality of people's lives, and improving uh, their their uh, human potential. Which is why I got into this in the very first place is to tap into the human potential. So, yeah, go ahead. Well, um, uh, this is really incredible, and uh, I've witnessed um, your work myself. Um, so this is something you can do. But how lives of your clients been enriched due to the knowledge and skills you give them, uh, those whom you teach, and what are the new abilities um, those people have acquired? Sure. Well. This process is really uh, about us tapping into our potentials. Mm -hmm. And we a lot of us have a lot of abilities, okay? Mm -hmm. And when we, our abilities are blocked due to uh, belief systems, uh, people that have told us that we can't do this, can't do that, uh, mm -hmm. limited life experiences um, <clears throat> because mm -hmm. of some event that happened in our life. And then we tell us we can't do things. Uh, so what we're here to do is we're actually going to look at those experiences and each experience has an energetic chart. So, uh, for, ex for example, if someone, uh, if you got embarrassed by someone, maybe by a teacher when you were growing up as a child, but the memory still feels painful, mm -hmm. there's an energetic charge. So w what we're doing is we're clearing these energetic charges out of your system. Uh, so, people that are not familiar with this, when we clear these energetic patterns out of your system, then you can do the work that I can, or, and then apply to your friends and family. It's really like this, it's a self personal growth process uh, that can also uh, help you tap into your own potential. Paul, do you think that an average person would be able to achieve the same results you do? And does it require special skills or background to learn your method? A lot of people, there's people that come to my trainings that are both beginners and advanced healing arts practitioners, uh, life coaches. So any, anyone can benefit. So for people that do come for the first time, they'll still get a great uh, healing and they'll get some uh, very, very effective tools. Mm -hmm. So for the beginner, uh, what I encourage people to do is to practice, to make a commitment to practice in the mm -hmm. next 30 days. And that's how you develop the skill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I, I mean, I learned that one time ago as a beginner and I was able to do it. So, uh, so yes, people can do it. And then the advanced people can actually um, really add this to their, to their own healing tools and their processes. Again, the emphasis of, about this work, this workshop, is really about people getting to know themselves and becoming highly aware mm -hmm. of themselves. And it's, the, it's developing the awareness to build the skills, okay? So if you don't have the awareness, then you should learn to be more aware. And even advanced people need to be more aware when they're not neutral so that they can mm -hmm. continue to grow and improve themselves. Absolutely. I completely agree with you because I myself was studying from grandmasters and um, each of them in their teachings emphasized the importance of being neutral and about awareness and about paying attention. However, what I have learned as your student in your class is that you emphasized really heavily the um, uh, matter of neutrality. And uh, nobody, as far as I know, in the world does such an um, important emphasis to the awareness and neutrality. And what also uh, surprised me, Paul, when I was taking your class, there uh, were people who are very advanced healers themselves, the authors of their own methods and practicing in healing arts for 30 years, even more, and they were still learning. That really surprised me. 
So my next question, uh, Paul, is um, besides the self-healing and ability to heal others, what are the practical applications of the art of neutrality method? And um, uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so you could, you can apply the, the energetics to many aspects of life. Okay, mm -hmm. for example, a <clears throat> is a completely non-healing work. For example, a day trader, uh, people that trade uh, for finances, they are under a lot of stress. Okay, so. The reason they have stress is because they have deep attachments. Okay, so you clear up the attachments and why they want to make a lot of money, the fears about not making money, losing money, fear of success. So as you clear these issues, they can actually get into the zone. And getting into the zone is what they talk about with athletes, with uh, professionals any of any kind. So some people, you want to think about the zone as a subconscious realm. People have may, may have heard of it. Uh, so it's really getting to that space where you have uh, access to information and then intuitive information and having a clarity. And sometimes, sometimes you could even uh, having this this uh, access can actually you can actually intuitively predict the success of, for example, certain companies because you have you have a greater access to this intelligence of the universe. Um, so that's how somebody, that, for example, is a finance person or a day trader, can access that. Or if you're an athlete, right? That's when people, when they get into a zone, everything slows down. And if you're a basketball player, the, the basketball rim looks a lot bigger because you're into that, that zone. So part of this process is if you clear up your fears and your issues, then getting to that zone is a lot quicker uh, than before. Okay, so. Anybody, whether you're a mom or you're a engineer, okay, if you're trying to be an engineer and become more creative, and you clear up your the underlying issues behind it, then you could get into that zone so you could be more uh, productive and creative. Mm -hmm. So you're not, your back of your mind is not worried about if I don't make this project, I'm going to get fired. Okay, if you don't have that worry, then getting to that zone is a lot easier. But if you have a lot of that fear going on, it's not easy to get into that zone. And just just doing the basics, the, the bare essentials to just to be sur to surviving and, and instead of really coming from this place of this deep creativity and uh, productiveness. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds very interesting, Paul. And as I understand, um, not only you will teach how to become neutral and be more aware and pay attention and learn about your deeper self. Uh, but did I understand it correctly that people who will attend your seminar, even though they're complete novices, they will be able to heal uh, after two days? Is uh, is that true? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can. They le they learn the uh, the techniques, and during the class, uh, the class is not a theories class. Mm -hmm. It's an interactive class where everybody is constantly interacting with another person. Um, tune in to the other person and feeling the energies, the, uh, the energetic charges. And as they feel it, they develop that awareness. And as they develop that awareness, they become more and more aware of themselves and other people. So, uh, and then we're going to teach you how to clear the blockages. Mm -hmm. So, yes, in two days, people will learn quite a bit about themselves and, and other people in the world they live in. Mm -hmm. Well, this sounds miraculous to me, and um, um, Paul, why would you recommend both professional community and lay people alike to attend your live two-day seminar in San Diego? Well, I think it, for, for the, lay, the lay person, they not only will get some very uh, useful day-to-day -to -day tools to help themselves, it's develop their awareness, all right? Okay. Go on. I want lay people to have a better understanding of themselves, and and the reason we want to emphasize is that they, they can actually have tools and an awareness that they can have for the rest of their life. Okay, it's not just a two-day seminar. I don't want people to have to come in and just take it and then forget about it. It's really a skill to be developed for for their for their life. And then for professional people, it's the same message, but for professional people, they 
have to realize that if they become more neutral, they'll just become a lot more effective, which with so professionals could be of any professions of any life path. Uh, like I said, if you're a professional mother, that could be you as well. So as you, as you clear yourself for these issues, you could take better care of your children, your husband. Um, if you're a professional uh, healer or a medical doctor or a psychologist, by being more neutral and clearing up the, the underlying pain behind why you're doing something, something uh, then you can actually help more people and not stress yourself out. So that's the whole uh, message or that I like to, to share with people is to continue to work on yourself and, and grow from that. Okay. Paul, what does weather look like these days in the Midwest? Oh, uh, it's actually the last couple of days we get, we're getting some rain. So uh, it's a quite a bit warmer than uh, for January than normal. Okay, and it's uh, very warm here in Southern California, so I invite uh, everybody to attend this two-day live seminar by Paul Wong on February 23rd and 24th in San Diego, and um, I can personally promise that your life will never be the same. Thank you very much, Paul. All right, thank you, Kubaraj. Bye-bye.